Okay. Have a motion to second. Discussion? Okay, no discussion. All those in favor, raise your right hand. All those opposed, same sign. involves the sheriff and uh, so I'm going to sort of begin this. I'm going to try to give you a brief description of, and, and this involves an, a, 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 an expenditure for inmates for medical care. And Mark and I have been working on this for some time, uh, but I think I'll give you the uh, condensed version. And, uh, and it, this has been discussed in here before, but you probably don't remember. It's been almost, I suppose, a year ago when this first came up. But we had, uh, at, on two different occasions, inmates in the jail who had significant medical conditions. Uh, we thought in the jail, it was thought that, that and it was, it was known, the, the first one was named Brown, and what was the second one's name? Bircham. Bircham, okay. And so it was thought that the cost might be avoided. These guys have been arrested if they were OR'd, uh, and, and then they would be responsible for their own medical bills. And the medical bills of Bertram was like 170000 as it turned out to be, or am I reversing that? Um, Brown was 245000 I don't, yellow was just over 200000 So <clears throat> under state statutes, you can't, the sheriff, cannot OR these guys and avoid the costs. Okay. Uh, and then uh, the, the, the problem, there was a problem uh, on the coverage uh, by uh, our inmate policy. And uh, so they weren't, because, because they weren't in our custody, because they'd been OR'd, we're obligated under state law to pay them, but the terms of our our inmate policy are such that they were excluded because they were no longer in our custody. So we were in a we we're in a catch twenty two. So we had hundreds of thousands of dollars of bills. Uh, uh, they're they were, most of them are with Parview, but we work with Parview and what. Our maximum obligation under state statute is 104% of Medicare or the Medicare charges plus 4% on top of it is probably a better way to say it because that confused us for a while, Mark and I, but um, it's not double Medicare. In Medicare, as you know, the charges are maybe 20%. Uh, the reductions you get from Medicare are about 20%. So. The last year's kind of been spent haggling back and forth with uh, the, um, uh, the people at Parkview and some of the other health care providers and haggling back and forth with uh, our, uh, our inmate insurer. And uh, so today we are presenting bills of 64000 on Brown. Is that what it netted down to? Yes, just $64,600.73. And how about Bertrand? That one hasn't been processed yet. We're still, I think we're still negotiating costs on that one. Okay. So, and Mark, you want to go ahead and throw in there anything that you have to just want to answer questions if there is. The only thing that, uh, in addition to what Dan has mentioned, the, the purpose We've known all along that the county, if you will, is responsible for inmate health care. The purpose of ORing these uh, two individuals uh, for us was uh, so we didn't have to have manpower uh, basically uh, sitting at the hospital uh, with these two individuals. Uh, one came before the other. These weren't at the exact same time. Uh, but uh, I 
know the second one drug on for months and months and months, and the first one was uh, several weeks, and uh, to me it did not make sense to have somebody sitting there 24 hours a day uh, guarding that individual. So that was the purpose behind. And what was the what was the original finding charge? I mean, this wasn't a, a crime of violence or anything. These were just I, I don't recall uh, what the what the charges were, but no, nothing of, of serious nature, major serious nature anyway. So, have you presented this then as a claim? Yes, it's been uh, submitted. The Brown has been submitted in as a claim. Okay. So, and there's going to be another one. Of some similar amount, probably. I, it's uh, about twenty thousand less, if I recall. Okay, so forty, so a total of a hundred grand. That was. Okay. Well, in fact, the claims were paid. This this claim has it been was paid. On, it was on my list of okay. why did we pay sixty-four thousand six hundred dollars? So okay. we paid it to Correctional Health Care. What? Why is that? Because it was easier. Uh, for our bookkeeping purposes, that's the inmate health care company mm -hmm. that, that we are contracted through. Mm -hmm. And it was easier for us to have them pay the, I think there was close to uh, eight or ten different health care providers. And rather than us submitting a claim for each one of those, they went ahead and paid the entire amount and then turned around and billed us uh, just for the total. So we only had one claim to submit rather than six or eight. This inmate policy really pays very little, but they do do this. They pay it, and then when it's not covered, they bill back to us. So to simplify it, that's what we had them do. So they advance the money for it, but we owe them the money. And this also guarantees us that we get 4% the state, the state uh, limited billing and not more than that. Parfy wanted a lot more money for a while. And, um, uh, because we sort of had had an interim deal, which we didn't really understand about Harvey was going to charge 25% under, they were going to give a discount, their standard billing by 25%, but we finally figured out, well, that's way more than 4% plus Medicare. So we kind of got that straightened out with them, and they're accepting the Medicare plus 4 for us. So still a lot of money, though. For sure. How can we avoid this? I guess from now on, we need to do something here. Whether we get another policy or, you know, we can't afford to go, you know, a hundred thousand dollars every time we turn around. Right. Uh, you, well, you don't OR them, or they're not going to be OR'd anymore. That's that's number one. And number two, I think Mark is negotiating a different policy, but it really coverage-wise isn't going to be significantly different. These coverages are all the same. They're not very good. Would you want to explain what the coverage really is? So well, they... when we initially started uh, with uh, health professionals, which then sold out to the CHC, uh, it was an extremely good uh, coverage. They pretty much paid for everything, even when the person went out of the jail into the hospital. And now the industry standard uh, is not that way. They've eliminated uh, that total coverage. And essentially, any time an inmate goes out of the jail to the hospital, the county is responsible. And I have checked with, uh, well, the current one we have is that way. I've checked with two more uh, companies to find out what their coverage would be, and it's exactly the same way. The bottom line is, is how much is that company going to charge me per year to provide the service to us? And we are looking at another company that... Uh, really plan to go with as soon as I get all the, the contract issues hammered out. Which the policy will be a little bit less. Uh, however, I think that their personal coverage of the um, inmate health care will be uh, considerably greater than what it is today. They are based in Muncie, Indiana, whereas the company we're dealing with now is in Colorado. Mark, had, had there not been an OR, what would we have had covered on these? Because it, it's not the whole bill. I mean, we would still had to pay. On on the first one, on the Brown, we still would have paid up to $65,000 before the, the other insurance kicked in. Yeah, so 
we really weren't covered anyway, but this is just kind of to make you aware of why these big bills are coming through. And uh, I guess we could also have our law enforcement not arrest sick people, really sick people too, but it's, it's hard to know that when they're arresting them. Well, in, in my years, I, I hauled a lot. I can't define it, but I hauled several people from the jail, and each time I was told they were OR'd. Because that's the way so it used to be. So this isn't, uh, this isn't uh, uh, it happens once in a while. This happens pretty, I was only on one shift out of three, so... Right, the only difference in these are the bills are so high, but you're correct. I mean, you might, if, if, if you get nailed with 60 inmates at $1,000, it's no different than one at 60, you still yeah. got to pay it, so. Yeah. But, but to follow up on what you said, Don, yeah. the law changed a couple of years ago where the county is responsible almost from the second that that individual was arrested. Okay. There yeah. significant changes. Well, but there had to be, because we, I yes. personally have transported lots of, people from there so all right yeah, the so, so we're actually looking at something that will have a, a, a more significant impact on us than we've seen yes well, potentially the, the two individuals that we're paying on now uh, came down ill very suddenly and very severely mm -hmm. uh, it didn't give us enough time lead time to do anything through the courts and or the prosecutor's office with them okay. um, so okay. we were and the answer is to process, excuse me for interrupting, is to process the case faster with the cooperation of the prosecutor's sure. office and of course get them run through. Sure. Because if it's if it's if it's a disposition and not an OR with the case still pending, I think that resolves the problem as partially. We, as we understand it. As we understand it now, yeah, as, as, as the case law is now. But, so any other questions? What account is that coming out of? That, this particular one that we submitted is coming out of the hard line item for inmate health care. And we have enough money in that line Yes. Item. So, you don't know why they were arrested? <clears throat> no, I don't have the, their booking charge. They, they were serving time. They weren't just brought in off the street. They were serving time. You got sick at the jail? Yes. And, and that's and, key. Said, yeah, sure. Uh, you make more money than I, but I still. <laughs> but, uh, so they got sick while we, after we arrested them. Yes. What if they would have had, and I take it they were given a health exam when they were arrested? Them. Yes. Okay. Clean bill. What if they would have had some circumstances before that? How detailed was that physical? Uh, it seems strange to me that we'd have two out of 90 all of a sudden get sick, and now we're sitting here with 87. Uh, most of it, I think you're kind of alluding to pre existing conditions, which more than likely was there on both of them. However, once they are once they are incarcerated, their pre-existing conditions are pretty much out the window. The responsibility is going to fall within inmate health care and or the county. Now this 67000 was just for treatment in the hospital thing. He's not pocketing money at the hearing. No, no, no. No, no. It's all paid to the health care providers. Go, Mr. Major. It's a two hundred thousand dollar bill that we that we negotiated to sixty four thousand. Yeah, two hundred forty five thousand. Two forty five negotiated down to sixty four thousand. But again, the other thing I wanted to point out because I thought Commissioner Rethlake had a good question, but the answer is the law has changed. Because 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 yes. my point was Tom, I used to go go to the jail, get the prisoner who became ill while incarcerated. And then I was told, because I would usually say, is anybody going to ride with me now? I don't know what these put up. I always asked what they were in for, because I wanted to know if they were going to be in this little cubicle with me. But, but I was told most of the time, well, we've OR'd them. So they're on their own. And, and now you can't 
do them, right? Yeah, I just right. want to make sure I'm saying it right. Not only that, but then mm -hmm. if you have them and they've been sentenced to, a, to which many, many more of the defendants now are sentenced to lo local incarceration or mm -hmm. some are community corrections, but uh, you can't just unilaterally let them out and say, okay, your sentence is done, now we don't have to pay for it. You've got to go through a formal process for the court. So I think the point is to avoid this in the future, everybody needs to be alert when, when the, the, the inmate gets sick, how do we deal with this, to notify the judge and prosecutor right away so we can find ways of curtailing the sentence and ending our responsibility. Now, the more serious, obviously, the charge, and then you want to get them to DOC fast because of the state takes over. So it just it's you know it just depends on each case. So, so I guess that's my question. That if with work release, do we have the same obligation that work release? No. 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 There's another possibility for dealing with some of this is to get them over the work release. Work release. Yeah. But probably the guys that are that sick. Can't These people are are between. They're not going to the DOC because once they once they once they're given the DOC, they have to pay the bill, right? We don't pay the bill once they go. To these DOC, are these right? are local. Yeah. These are local, but they can't go to work release either for one reason or another. Yes, so. typically. Okay. Well, but you and Mark, you know this well. We'll have prisoners that will say they have a suture. Will sit there and pick them open so they can get out and have to call the MS to come and get them. And I think we talked about it. Do you transfer them or do we have some? Well, manpower again is something, and yes. that's what the sheriff's department should do. But you have any and every excuse for them to try yeah. to get out and get a breath of fresh air. That's well, they'll sit up there and let. 30 people go through the ER for they will, you know, so exactly. that takes manpower. It's, it's quite a balancing act between it the is. example that you just gave and then somebody that comes down that ends up being genuinely sick. You try mm -hmm. to weed out the ones that are faking and or just finding some excuse to get out for the day or to get to the hospital and make other plans as an right. escape or something. So yeah. we're constantly evaluating and that's one of the reasons with these two that we're talking about. Uh, like I said, they came down so suddenly that we thought maybe something, their ulterior motives were going on. And by the time we got to the point where we couldn't explain it, then we, we got them to the hospital. Well, one thing, thanks for putting that extra money in your pocket. <laughs> but do you do that every, do, did you plan to put extra money in there every year? And if so, about how much? Well, I don't, and the reason I ask, I think in almost 12 years sitting on the commissioner's seat, uh, I think this is the first large, large claim that I have seen. Maybe there's been others, if so, I, I can't think recall. Because of the law change, you've not seen so others. So if it was the law change that caused it. Yeah, that's a pretty good explanation for it. Uh, but to answer your, your original question, uh, a little bit confused myself because I look back at my records to see how we had so much money in that uh, line item and I asked for an amount that was less than that and for whatever reasons when it when the final budget came out it was more. Hmm. So, so somebody got counsel counsel on the good day. Yeah. <laughs> they must have had the crystal ball out. Yeah they must have. Yeah. Or, so, is this a state I'm sorry. Go is, ahead. That, is that a state regulation then? Or is that a federal regulation that we're dealing with? As far as, as, far as being responsible, yeah, that was the state of Indiana. But I think it's I think that is the answer is influenced by some federal court decisions. I, I think I don't think it's just Indiana that is dealing with this in one way or another. So that's not something that we could just talk to Senator Banks and Representative Hughes. No, because I, I think it came from the courts. I don't think it came out of the legislature. The legislature would have never done that. Okay.